Hi, everybody. It's an impromptu live. I just finished charting. My dad has been visiting, and so the bed is stripped down. And I just went to the front door and had a package. <laughs> and because I'm a dork and like to share everything Weight Watchers related with you guys, <laughs> I thought I would show you what I got on eBay. Can you guess? Let's see if you guys can guess what it is. It's big and it's heavy. Hi, guys. Hi, Donna. Hi, Ch Hi Cheryl. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca and Don and Myrna and Lori and Marilyn and Roxanne and Teresa. Oh, Teresa thinks it's past programs. Teresa, you're close. It's something we've been talking about. And I actually used to have these. Um, I have noticed lately that the postman does not like me and everything I've been getting is completely shredded. <laughs> so I'm just going to do like a little unboxing for you guys so you can laugh. Um, hi, Susie. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> is that Barbara B., my mother-in-law? I hope so. I don't know if that's you or not. <laughs> Let me, <laughs> Mary's here. Mary, I currently have nothing in my teeth and I don't have chili on my cheek. Yesterday on Instagram, I had chili. You guys are going to laugh. But... All right. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I've completely lost my mind. Do you know what these are? You guys, <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of Weight Watcher magazines from quite a while ago on eBay. I thought it was so fun and they had a, it was a really good deal on these. <laughs> and so... I have been wanting to read Weight Watchers magazine and you guys know they discontinued it and I was like so super duper disappointed. So I have 16 uh, Weight Watchers, not WW, get it straight, Weight Watchers magazines from 2005. This one has the Duchess of York on it. So that's kind of fun. So 2005 is the program that I lost 70 pounds on. So that would be the old Weight Watchers Momentum, Weight Watchers Flex, where you calculated your points on calories, fat, and fiber. Very easy. You pretty much counted points for everything except for um, non-starchy vegetables. So even like beans and things like that. <laughs> Donna, are you jealous? Um, yes, Marilyn, the older magazines were a lot better than the newer magazines, according to some of us old Weight Watchers peeps. So one thing that I loved about these, and I'm going to see, I think that this was the era. These are like brand new, by the way. Um, lots of recipes in these old magazines and they usually had a meal plan. And so I'm just going to look and see if they still have a meal plan in here. I'm really hoping. <laughs> and then they would also have, um, like success stories that I really enjoyed. Lots of recipes. You guys, I've had a lot of questions, um, about recipe builder on the new plans and about, um, like what's going to happen with our cookbooks and that sort of thing. I do want to remind you all when freestyle came out, they actually took the smart points cookbook and they sent out a link where you could look up points of the recipes that were in that. Like they updated the points. I don't know how they would even do that at this point. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but I did hear but in the upcoming recipes um, that they put out, you'll have color-coded points. And yes, they will have different point ranges, I guess. Um, 
it's going to be a little, okay, to my thinking, it might be a little confusing, um, but that might just be me, me. I think that I've had a lot of people say they're irritated because they're going to have to put their recipes back into Recipe Builder. And I'm not sure what that's going to be look, looking like. Um, I haven't heard anything else about that. Somebody wrote on my channel today that they heard they're adding uh, like red meats and things to the zero point list on purple. I have not heard that and I have not seen any evidence of that um, in the Australia or New Zealand uh, point lists that have been published by Weight Watchers or the point list that I have. So I think that that's just a rumor, wishful thinking. Now you guys know on Simply Filling, yes, there were some other meats besides chicken and turkey um, that were Simply Filling. So maybe people are getting confused. I'm really, really hoping. Hold on, I'm still looking. What are you guys saying to me? <laughs> oh, Bessie's down 179 pounds. Wow, Bessie, that is amazing. Super amazing. So I don't know, I'll have to look. Um, I'll have to look through these. But anyway, lots of Weight Watchers magazines. Always enjoyed these. I used to take my Weight Watchers magazine to the gym with me. And while I was on the elliptical, I would read through them and get ideas and inspiration. I always love the success stories. You know, 2005, we didn't have our smartphones. And so I would put my, I think, I think I had an iPod or something I listened to music on and I would read through the magazines. Some of these look familiar <laughs> and some do not. So, um, MG misses the old magazines. Me too. Um, I have a video that's going to be up on Saturday that I'm going to answer. I've gotten a lot of questions about, here's the Duchess again. Whatever happened to Fergie? Do you guys ever see her in the news? Like, what happened to her? Um, I don't know. And I'm not seeing the meal plans. I might have to go back farther. But I really liked their meal plans. And they were very easy recipes. Okay, here's another sort of critique I have. I feel like some of the recipes they give us now are not, they're a stretch, if you know what I'm saying. Like they might be something that we would eat every once in a great while, but they're not necessarily going to be like on rotation for me. And a lot of that is because I have a picky husband and I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me, but I find that the recipes that they hand out in the meetings, they sound interesting, but they're not always things that I'm going to be making a lot of. And I feel like the old Weight Watcher recipes um, we're just, you know, lemon biscotti, you guys, like who doesn't love lemon biscotti? And the cool thing about this is that the, um, the nutritional information is on here. So like 50 calories, one gram of fat, zero grams of fat, saturated fat, um, 10 grams of carb. Um, they've got everything on here except for the sugar. But this used to be that you could have a biscotti for one point back in the day. Gosh, on freestyle, a biscotti would be five points now, you know. Um, hi, Suki. How are you? The other thing I had someone ask me, since we're talking about weeklies, I know these are questions that are all over the place, but I've talked about this a couple of times. So I have heard, and maybe those of you in Australia and New Zealand can confirm, that we're going to be getting like a new sort of binder of, of some sort. This was not really from a verified source, okay? But what I'm hearing is that we might be getting a binder that your weeklies will go into. And someone asked me about the size. I've heard that it's bigger, bigger than the weeklies that we're getting now. Now, that's all rumor. So... I hate to spread rumors. I feel like this was somebody in New Zealand or Australia. So, you know, in the U.S., it might be very different. The other thing I've, I've had a lot of people ask um, is Canada and the U.K. 
I have heard that they're going live with the new programs the same time that we are in the U.S., which is the week of November 11th. So, <laughs> um, really, Barbara B., Sarah Ferguson, so Fergie kept her weight off and she lives in one wing of the castle with her ex. She lives with Prince um, Andrew. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, Kim's asking me if I'm doing the green plan. I'm doing the green plan right now. I want to get a good look at, okay. I'm going to be honest with you guys because I always am. Let me tell you what I was thinking about today as I was driving. 5 million miles out into the country. <laughs> You're going to think I'm completely nuts. But I was thinking, what, this is just me thinking, I'm not saying I'm going to do this. So don't come at me. But I was like, what would prevent me from manually changing my dailies in the freestyle app to the dailies that I'm gonna get on green. Because on green, or I'm not green, I'm sorry, purple. Sorry guys. To the dailies that we're gonna get on purple. Because here's the thing. I kind of wonder on freestyle if I dropped my dailies because on purple, the lowest you'll go on your dailies is 16. Okay, so what if I dropped my dailies on freestyle? Um. Would I have a better experience with weight loss, which is the whole reason why I'm doing Weight Watchers, you guys, is to lose weight. Okay, that's why I'm doing it. It's not about the other stuff. I, I'm, I'm doing Weight Watchers to lose weight. Okay, I kind of wonder if that would help me rein it in a little bit because for me, I don't really need the zero point. Um, whole wheat pastas, potatoes, you know, oatmeals and things. I don't need zero point things like that. And those are still pointed on freestyle. But I'm kind of wondering if if I drop my daily points, because I know there's a lot of freestylers out there that don't eat over a certain amount of dailies. And they also don't really touch their weeklies. I don't know. I just started thinking about that as I was driving. Um, I know that you can manually change your dailies, just so you guys know, in the app. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm doing green right now on Smart Points. Um, just so you know, my friend Lisa over at From Dumpy to Diva, she is showing hacks on her channel. Her name is Lisa at From Dumpy to Diva. She's showing hacks on how to use eye track bites with the new programs that are coming out. So if you want to go check out her channel, if you're still using iTrack Bytes, um, she's just showing how you can do that on their app. So I haven't watched her videos yet. Sorry, Lisa. She might be in here. But um, so Teresa says that if you stick within your daily points, no matter how much of the free food you eat, you lose weight. Wow, that's awesome. Hey, Teresa, do you mind me asking how old you are? I'm kind of, you know, asking people now, how old are you? What's your activity level? What kind of job do you have? Like, I just wonder, you know, I kind of, I just kind of wonder, wow, Teresa, that's awesome. So Teresa's a little bit older than I am and you're losing weight and you're doing blue. So you're doing freestyle. That's great. I wish that I had that experience. Um, <laughs> Adrian is saying, roll over four points each day and don't always eat the weeklies. Adrian, I've heard a lot of people do that on freestyle as well. Um, Melanie's asking if wellness wins is going to be around. Yes, it is. Melanie, I heard they're changing the prizes up as well. But I heard that, yes, they are keeping the wellness wins program. Hey, Janice. Um, Rebecca's saying that if she doesn't eat more dailies every day, like if she doesn't go over her dailies, then she doesn't lose. It's just so crazy how it's so different from all of that for all of us. Or maybe I'm just different. I don't know. I hear all kinds of things. People are doing all kinds of things out there. And, you know, Weight Watchers always says, let the weight loss be your guide. Um, 
I think people are kind of living by that and tweaking things a little bit. So Mary Vitra said that she had an aha moment when she entered the nutrition and the nutritional info for a banana. So Mary calculated a banana the other day and it was five smart points. Um, so you can kind of see if you're eating multiple bananas because calories do matter. Calories count. You can kind of knock yourself out. Um, Melanie's saying that freestyle has been rough. So you're going to try the purple plan because you're a vegan. Yeah. And I'm hearing a lot of that. I'm hearing a lot of my vegetarian and vegan friends are going to go purple because there's more options. Um, I've heard that a lot of simply filling people out there um, that are vegan and, and vegetarian really enjoyed simply filling for that reason. They felt they had more options. You know, what was also interesting to me, I'm just going to keep showing you magazines. <laughs> is that on the new purple plan, I don't see grits or polenta. So I wonder, does anyone know what the reasoning is for that? Um, this is 2008, you guys. This one is. And so is this one. Oh, some of these are 2008. And I think we went to smart points in 2009. Am I right? These are 2008 as well. So it looks like these go from 2005 to 2008. So I don't know if these are the ones that have the meal plans. I'll have to do a little bit more investigating. But still, I'm very excited. I do have an elliptical. And so I'm going to put these in there. I have a little basket. I'm going to put them by the basket and just have something to kind of look at while I'm on the elliptical. Besides my smartphone, I feel like sometimes I'm a little too tied to my phone. And I worked, I've been working really late every night this week. Um, I just finished charting about half an hour ago. And I'm um, pretty like worn out. I'm looking at computers and paper and stuff. So this week is a killer. Next week is going to be a killer. A lot of that is because we're trying to get, I went on a work trip last week and then I have a work week coming up and then I'm going out of town for Thanksgiving. So everything is compressed right now. So I'm not getting a lot of downtime. And I had a little meltdown at about 4.30 today, I had a meltdown. I had driven all the way out to see somebody and they weren't there, which they forgot and that's okay. Um, but I just was kind of at the end of my <laughs> mental rope. I'm like, what, what am I doing with my life? Um, I'm one of those people that I like to have, you know, multiple existential crises every once in a while. Whatever, drama queen over here. Um, Rebecca is gonna do green. Because she goes nuts. <laughs> you go nuts with fruits, salmon, and chicken. Right. And I really like the green plan. So I just I just think about things. And also, I drive a lot, you guys. So I'm in the car a lot. So I listen to YouTube. I listen to music. I listen to books. I probably spend 50% of my day in the car. And sometimes I just turn everything off and I just listen to myself. <laughs> And then sometimes I talk to you guys, um, but I haven't really been feeling like talking on the vlog this week just because I'm I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed. And sometimes it's nice just to have some quiet. But when I got these, I was like, I got to go show my friends my silly Weight Watchers magazines. Homeschool Hearts is going green. Barbara, you didn't miss anything. I was just, I did a little unboxing of old Weight Watcher magazines. So, um, something else I wanted to ask you guys, you know, I've been planning on doing a giveaway. Would you all let me know what you would like to see in a giveaway? Um, I do have, I'm going to be having a give, giveaway. I have some things already put aside, but I really want you guys to be interested in it because it's a giveaway for you guys. So let me know what you would like to see in a giveaway. Do you want to see one of the new Weight Watchers cookbooks? You know, what do you want to see? Um, one of the Weight Watchers tools, they have all these different tools, Weight Watchers snacks from the center. Like what, what would you like? Um, next week. So here's a couple things that are upcoming on my channel. Saturday morning at eight o'clock, Barrett and I are going to be publishing new videos with answers to your questions. Mine will be and these are answers that we can come up with. I mean, we don't work for Weight Watchers. So this is just based on research and what we have seen and what we have. So um, I will be answering purple plan questions. 
She will be answering green plan questions. If you have questions about those plans, please go to our videos about those plans and post the questions down below and we will do our best. What I'm doing right now is as I get questions, I'm researching and trying to find answers for you guys. And if I have an answer, I will relay it to you. If I don't have an answer, <laughs> we're just gonna have to wait a few more days. Um, next week, after I go to my meeting, once the plan changes over, I am gonna come on here and do a full review of what I was given in the meeting for the new plans. So I will be showing you guys what you can expect if you go and join Weight Watchers at a center, or if you go online. From what I'm hearing, if you are online, you will have access to what we're getting in the center in more of like an electronic or PDF form. Okay. I'm also hearing that um, online members can go to one meeting next week to get the information. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means they're going to give you the written stuff or just give you a class or. I don't know. Someone asked me how they're going to roll out the three programs in a meeting and how, you know, I have no idea. I don't know how you would implement something like that. You know, as an educator, I would want to have like two other educators with me so we could each tackle one of the programs or something. Um, I don't know how they're going to do that. <laughs> so I, I will, however, come on and tell you guys and give you a review and let you know what happened in the meeting and how they addressed that and what they gave us and you know what they told us because that might help some of you guys that are online or maybe you go with, to a center and hear something a little different and can share it with me. You know, it's really nice to be able to share information. So uh, Suzanne, you must be, Suzanne Fries must be an online member. She says she got an email stating that she can go to a meeting the week of the 11th. That's awesome. Um, Susan is, Susan lost 75 pounds in eight months on freestyle. She only ate 23 points a day. She walked 10,000 steps a day, no other exercise. Um, and you're at goal and you're maintaining. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you walk a lot. That's, that's amazing and wonderful. So 23 points a day, walking. I'm sure you drank your water, which I need to do a little bit better. Although my skin's looking pretty good right now. I don't know why. Um, any other little... <laughs> Melanie wants cookbooks. Hi, Kim. Krasenstein or Krasenstein. Very good. So, no, that's all. I just want to share this with you because I'm a dork. And <laughs> I'm going to go put these... Not with my cookbooks. Judah is so funny. Judah was home. Gosh, I had my dad here for a couple days. We got him all moved out of town. And then Judah was here last Friday. Yeah, he was here last Friday. And asked me, well, he went and looked at my cookbooks and was like, Mom, do you have any cookbooks that you don't want? And I was like, sir, step off, you know. But he asked for cookbooks. And he wants Gordon Ramsay's cookbooks. He's not watching this. I should show you the cookbooks that I got him. Um, hold on two seconds. I'm going to get them for you. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let me show you guys the two cookbooks I got him because I think you'll find this of interest if you like Gordon Ramsay. This one looked really good. Well, I got him the home cooking one, so I thought he would enjoy that. And then I got him the healthy lean and fit cookbook. So this looks really, really, really good. Um, I think before he takes it, I'm going to have to write down a few recipes <laughs> from in here. Um, he likes Gordon Ramsay. I think Gordon Ramsay is kind of a jerk. Sorry to say. Um, but, you know, he's done well with his attitude. But, you know, there's yummy stuff. Like, look at this. A shrimp Waldorf salad. Most everything in that is zero points on the new purple plan and on freestyle. Um, and they made the dressing out of Greek yogurt, which is zero. Dijon mustard, uh, cider vinegar. Oh my gosh, I think this might all be zero. But there are so many recipes in this. 
Um, there's grapes in this salad, apples. There just look to be like a lot of options for those of us that are Weight Watchers. So again, the Gordon Ramsay Healthy, Lean and Fit looks awesome. His home cooking <laughs> book looks awesome. And it's, it's a lot of like instructional information um, on how to cook, but you know, his things are not necessarily zero point in this uh, cookbook. But so those are for Judah for Christmas. That's what he asked for. Um, and you guys know that I love a good cookbook. So Susan drank water and she's a vegetarian. Very good. You're awesome. We're very impressed with you, Susan. So congratulations. Um, <laughs> Rebecca, yeah, check that cookbook out. So Angela is very excited for the next week's meeting. It, you're hoping it's going to motivate you. I kind of feel like next week is going to be very motivating for all of us. I'm really super duper excited. I can't wait to be back in the app and with everybody else. I can't wait to see the different sections of Connect. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that on Saturday. I have some more information about Connect. Um, you know, there's just some different uh, questions out there that I have found answers to. So join me on Saturday morning. I will be publishing a video. And like I said, you guys, if you have questions, go on my last video about the purple plan and post your questions down below. Okay. You can tell Michelle's not here because I'm having to moderate for myself, <laughs> which is always interesting and distracting. All right, guys, I hope you had a great on-program day. Let me know again what you would like to see in a giveaway. And I will see you guys. I do not have time this week to do any, any editing. Um, it's just not the way I want to end the day right now because I'm real stressed out. So I have two vlogs. I'm hoping I can get to them at some point, but I just have not been able to sit down and edit. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'll see you guys on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. So stay in orbit. See you Saturday. Then see you next week. I think I'm going to go to a meeting on Monday. I need to go look up the meetings, but I believe there's a Monday evening meeting that I'm going to try to go to so that I can give you guys the most current information. Bye. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out.